Russian soldiers train to dodge thousands of Ukrainian FPV drones and beg for shotguns. Russian occupiers are learning to dodge thousands of Ukrainian FPV drones and begging volunteers for shotguns. According to Forbes, the Ukrainian armed forces are sending approximately 100,000 FPV drones to Russian positions every month. At the same time, Russian electronic warfare systems against drones do not work very well and air defense systems cannot cope with protection. Therefore, in order to shoot down Ukrainian UAVs, the Russian military uses shotguns. A shotgun firing buckshot is a decent defensive weapon. After all, a two-pound FPV drone is around the size and speed of a bird. A fast shooter could hunt an FPV drone like a duck. Forbes writes, at the same time, although the Russian army is supplied with a certain number of shotguns for protection against drones, they are not enough. As the newspaper notes, at least one soldier asked civilians to buy him a shotgun and send it to the front lines. The fact that a soldier has to beg his friends to send him a gun underscores that the Kremlin is trying to acquire large numbers of guns through military channels and equip enough frontline units to provide reliable defense against drones, Forbes writes. Additionally, as a last resort, at least one Russian unit is training its soldiers to run in circles in an attempt to dodge incoming FPV drones. A video of such training was posted online by Ukrainian drone expert Sergei Beskrestnov. At the same time, there are many videos on the internet that demonstrate unsuccessful attempts by Russian troops to evade the drone moments before the explosion. As drone expert Samuel Bendet explains, if an FPV explodes in close proximity, it can still injure and maim even if the drone's initial strike is unsuccessful. They just burn us. Just one exploding drone tears you apart, notes a Russian soldier. During the war against the Russian Federation, drones of various types occupy one of the leading roles for the destruction in particular of enemy equipment and various objects. Thus, over the past month, Ukrainian FPV drones worth $15.5,000 destroyed the invaders' equipment worth $65 million. Toss 1A Solent Sepek dozens of tanks and guns. Putin may punish Shoigu for not achieving Kremlin's military goals. Recent events in Russia suggest that Russian President Vladimir Putin may be seeking to reduce the power of Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, possibly to punish him for failing to achieve the military goals of the Kremlin, according to the Institute for the Study of War, ISW. Analysts at the Institute point to Putin's meeting on May the 2nd with the governor of the Tula region, Alexei Dumin, who has repeatedly sided with the owner of the private military company, Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, in 2022 and 2023, seeking to promote dismissals within the Russian Ministry of Defense. Dumin assured Putin of his support for arms production and the support of Russia's military industrial complex, particularly in the construction of new enterprises. ISW sees this as an attempt to win the president's favor and speculate that Dumin may hope to replace Shoigu as head of the Ministry of Defense. The ISW suggests that Putin may have deliberately publicized his meeting with Dumin after the high-profile arrest of Russia's Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov and ahead of the president's inauguration on May the 7th. The possible aim is to punish the Ministry of Defense for failing to achieve the military goals of the Kremlin. This meeting has caused a significant resonance in the Russian information space. Some Russian sources speculate that the Kremlin may appoint Dumin to a new position related to the Russian industrial complex. The ISW also noted Shoigu's statement on May the 1st, which said that Russia needs to increase the quantity and quality of weapons and military equipment to maintain the necessary pace of advancement. Analysts believe this could be a direct attack on certain Russian political figures to shift responsibility for failures on the front lines onto them. Shoigu had particularly close relations with Ivanov, and the arrest of Ivanov, along with Dumin's sudden resurgence in popularity, may indicate Kremlin dissatisfaction with Shoigu's performance. Ivanov was arrested on April the 23rd on suspicion of bribery. He is currently in pre-trial detention. Russian media reported that Ivanov was allegedly arrested for treason. The Kremlin has not commented on this. The Ministry of Defense of the United Kingdom believes that the case against Ivanov may also affect other Russian officials.